Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2064, where we now have 25 moves to clear out 34 jelly. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. And this is a special dedication to Michelle, who let me know about these changes to the board and is stuck. So let's see what we can do. We've got to get to these cake bombs, and I can see right away that this portion, this portion, this portion and this portion, those are going to be the most difficult to reach because we can't do it naturally. We have to use some specials. There's these cutouts and the, the border that don't allow us really to reach there. And I see a conveyor belt. So I know that if I make moves low to the ground, it could create cascading and then the conveyor belt can create more of that. But somewhere in here, I've got to get some stripes or wraps or hopefully some combos. Let's, oops, hello, meant to do that move. Okay, so I could do this and it would take off this wedge and one of these two wedges, but instead I'm going to do this and try to reach to the areas that are hardest to get to. And here I'll do this. Now look at this, I can take this and scooch this over and get to that edge. I've got this wrapped candy. If I could pair it with a stripe, I could get over to these difficult portions a bit better. I'm going to try to get a blue. There we go. We got that stripe, so we're going to go to the outer edge. Now we've got another stripe. Going to set up another wrap. This is tricky because there are a lot of moves here, and I just am having a hard time deciding which one would be best. I like this. I'm trying to line up that green so I can hit while it's here, maybe. Hmm. Not working so well with that. Uh, I don't want to use that wrapped candy there. As a matter of fact, I might get rid of some of the purple and try to set something up. Okay, here's another stripe. This is okay, but it would be better if I waited until that was along here. I'm trying to set things up and it's hard because things could be volatile. Okay, here we go. Moving this off to the edge. Now if it takes off on its own, wonderful. I don't have to worry about it. This, not there yet. What about trying to make something happen here? There we go, that took off. Now all of these other things that I have here, if I don't use them fairly soon, I may lose them because if we have something that hits this, all of these are going to be lost. I'd love to set this off now while it's here. So let's make moves along this route. There we go. And now I've got this down fairly far. So I could take this out or this out and make a big ruckus. But I still need to get to the edges. And it kind of makes sense that uh, the top ones are harder to take out because gravity helps us with these. I'm going to make this stripe and I'm going to hope it comes up to this level. Oh, but it's not going to reach the bottom. I need to bring this down one. How in the world? Okay, I'm going to do this. It didn't work. I could bring this down three and have it run back up, but then this goes. I may be trying to set this up too well. It may not be possible. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this, which is going to hit here, and it's going to hit here, and it's going to hit here, which is going to hit here. Well, I guess this will do it anyway. It's going to take out a cake bomb. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this off because we get some progress here. It would be really goofy if I cleared out all of these really tough spots, and then I had like one of these wedges left. So these are still the most difficult. Notice they're still here. And uh, yeah, I have work to do and I don't think I'm gonna get it done in five turns. If there were anything I could throw here, I would. I can't, so I'll do this. Oh, how do we get that working? How do we get this comboed? Let's play around and see what happens here. Oh, I don't know how to combo that. Nope, not going to work, so I'm just going to take out a color. It'll take out the, well, a layer of this and that cake bomb, and then we'll see what we have left to do. So we still had two cake bombs. With two cake bombs, it would take out the two layers in that center. Uh, and so 
I believe that once we can get rid of the very last cake bomb, all we'll have is four residual jelly that we have to remove from the board. So I would love to get these taken out first so that the residual jelly is easier to reach down here. All right, so I'm gonna pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share, but I'm gonna follow that strategy of looking for the outer edges here and the inner edges on these cake bombs, especially the top two. Try to get those out by combining some specials and leave one of these to the end. I've got only a few moves to do it all, so wish me luck, here I go. Okay, so this is my second try and I'm going to be able to clear this out and it's on the bottom. So hopefully I'll be able to get that residual stuff gone that's under here because the explosion will take out one layer of everything and now it's my job to get that second layer. So close. I can do this and take out two of the three I need. I need one more turn to do this or I could do this and take out one and hope we get cascading. I'm going to do this and hope something cool happens with cascading. Not quite, but I'm leaving this as instructive because now we see what's happening. And with only four colors on the board, it's usually relatively easy to make specials. The problem is with the conveyor belts, it takes things away. So I'm going to keep working the same plan, but just in case my final win ends up being through sheer luck, I'm going to keep this because I think it was a good balance of luck and strategy. Be back in a bit.
Okay, so this time I'm going to have two moves to help clear this out. So let's see what I can do. And notice I'm not stressing about this. This will be removed. These guys will be removed when this goes. All right, two moves, but not as good a setup. I can take out this with the purple, and this could create some good cascading. There we go. And I just have one left, and that's an easy one there. All right, so that is how I beat it, and I beat it uh, within five tries. So there's a method to it. If you focus on those things that are so hard to reach and put the stripes and maybe even if you get like a wrapped wrapped combo, that would be spectacular on a board like this, then I think you'll really be able to complete this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.